Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. He said he only came for his people itself. That's what it That's said. That's what it says in the Bible. Right. But I'm going to take you back to a verse. Where's where the there verse? was a woman that went and she begged and pleaded. And Matthew said, 15. Please, Lord, have mercy. On my daughter. For my daughter is being tormented by, devil. by demons. Right. And he told her that I did not came for you. I came for my own people. Right. But then she turned around and she said, For you are right. But even a dog deserves the crumb that Jeez. falls from his master's table. He turned around and looked at her. He prophesied and he, he know said, look, 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 For look, now. Because she look, said look, what? Look, she acknowledged she's what? Look at this. She acknowledged she's what? Somebody come and look at this. She acknowledged she was look a what? What did she say? What did she tell Christ? A dog. She oh. acknowledged she was a dog. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Read on. Nor a lawgiver from between his feet. The lawgiver is talking about Christ. So it's let you know that in the last days, give me that in Genesis, I mean uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33 and go to Judah. In the last days, Judah would be the top tribe. That's why you see a lot of so-called blacks out here, right? Even over here about, around a bunch of so-called Hispanics, you see us out here because it said a lawgiver would come from Judah, right? Read that Deuteronomy 33. Go to the part about hear his voice. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 7. And this is the blessing of Judah. This is the blessing of Judah, the so-called African Americans. Read. And he said, hear, Lord, the voice of Judah. Hear the voice of Judah and do what? And bring him unto his people. Bring him to his people. It's Judah's job to go to his people and teach them the laws of God. Bring it just, out. just like you, brother, where you said it's we all one in Christ Jesus. What's your name, brother? Rocky. Rocky. I'm Zakar. Okay, I'm go to Galatians 3 because I want to deal because that's a, a stronghold that is on the blacks and the Hispanics because we all came up through Christianity. See? Whether it be Catholicism or Baptist, we all learned the same religion from the man that enslaved us. We all learned that. We know we, that's where we learned Christianity from. That's that's historical. We can't deny that fact, right? Bring it out. So now go to that in Galatians chapter three, what you talking about, and we're going to read the verse you spoke of, and then we'll we'll jump up some. Read verse twenty-eight. This is the book of Galatians chapter three, verse twenty-eight. Yeah. Bring it there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Ye are all, that's what you quoted, right? Now the thing is about us, we don't read in context. We take what we heard and we'll push it because it comes from them and it's politically correct. But let's jump up in the chapter just to see what is actually talking about. Give me verse 16 in the same up. book. Read that. Verse 16. Bring it up. Now to Abraham. And his seed where the promise is made. Now, Abraham and his seed. Who was the seed of Abraham? Who came out of Abraham? He had Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and uh, Jacob. Jacob. And his name was changed to Israel. Right. It said to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. It didn't say everybody else, right? Now continue on. He said, not into seeds as but as of one. But as of one. Now you just said it. Who came from Abraham? What was his sons? Isaac and Jacob. Isaac and Jacob. So it said the promises were to the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and not to many, but to one. One. Now go to Romans chapter 9, and we're going to see the name. Because Paul wrote Galatians and he wrote Romans, right? So we're going to get the name of that one that he spoke about. Romans chapter 9, and let's start at verse 1. Listen to this, brother. 
This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. So Paul is speaking on behalf of Christ. He is not lying about the Galatians. We speak it of who is that one in Christ Jesus. Read. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost uh -huh. that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Now let's see who Paul has continual sorrow in his heart for. If it's for everybody or one people. Read. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ from my brethren, my kinsmen. My brethren, my kinsmen. Who was Paul's brothers? Who was his kinsmen? Who was Paul? What was Paul? Was Paul a, was Paul a, um, a Arab? Was Paul a Russian? Who was Paul? What race was he? Uh, Paul was a... Uh, Romans 11. A, a Jew. There you go. He so he said, I got continual sorrow for my brethren. He didn't say everybody. You want to know who he was talking about there? I'm going to read it. You, I'm going I'm to beat you to the punch. I'm going to read it. He's talking to the believers. Watch this. We're going to read it. Read Romans 11, then we go back to Romans 9. Read that. It's the book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. But that's the thought in Christianity that God did away with the 12 tribes of Israel. It said, God forbid. Read. For I also am an Israelite. Paul was an Israelite, That's like you right. said, a Jew. Read. Of the seed of Abraham. The seed of Abraham, like in Galatia, right? Right, right? Read. Of the tribe of Benjamin. The tribe of Benjamin is the so-called West Indians, right? right? So that's what he was. He's from an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, the seed of Abraham. Now go back to Romans chapter 9, and let's read verse 3 to get who he was talking about. If he was talking about those of the faith, or if he was speaking about one people. Let's read that again. It's the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ from my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. The spirit. According to the flesh. According to the faith. According to the flesh. So he's talking about one people according to the what? The flesh. And he just said he was a what? What was his race? He's a Jew. He was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Those are his brothers according to the flesh. Now let's see what he speaks about his brothers that are not spiritual, not by the faith. He talking about you born from this bloodline. Just like, what's, what's your race? What's your I'm, race? I'm Gypsy. I ain't Puerto Rican. I ain't Spanish. You Gypsy. What does that mean? Romanian. Romanian. Right? You so your ancestors came from over there. Got shipped, they came over here back in when? Uh, the early what? Back in the day. Back in the day, the early 1700s is when they came over here, right? So we're gonna teach you, cause you might be an Israelite. So we're gonna teach you what that actually means. Uh, read on in that. Who are Israelites? Well, what? Who are Israelites? Paul's not talking about my brethren according to the faith. Uh, the faith. He said according to my flesh, and they are the Israelites. Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? That adoption that it speaks about in Galatians, that's for the Israelites. Read. And the glory. And the glory, that's for the Israelites. And the covenant. The covenant is for the Israelites, meaning the old and the new, for the Israelites. Read. And the giving of the law. The what? And the giving of the law. The law was given to the Israelites, and if they broke it, meaning they would be in sin and would face the judgments of God. Read. In the service of God uh -huh. and the promises, whose are the fathers, and of whom as concerning the flesh, according the uh, concerning the flesh, right? Read. Christ came. He what? Christ came. It just Paul just said Christ came for what people on the face of the earth? Who was who? Who are they? The, 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 the Israelites. He only came for those people. He didn't say he came for everybody else. He came for those one people. Read. Who is over all. God blessed forever. Amen. And who is over all. Now go back to Galatians. So, before you go, go ahead. Part, go ahead. You said he only came for his people itself. That's what it That's said. That's what it says in the Bible. Right. But I'm going to take you back to a verse. Where's the verse? There was a woman that went and she begged and pleaded. Matthew said, 15. Please. Lord have mercy on oh, my daughter for my daughter is being tormented by a devil by demons right not once 
but by many, right. by demons. And he paid no attention to her. And she kept begging and she kept So he begging. ignored her, okay. So the disciples told him, get her away. They ignored her too. I get like how away. you explained it there. Go ahead. Get her away. She's bugging us. She's on our back. Right. She's nagging us. Right. And he told her that I did not came for you. I came for my own people. Right. But then she turned around and she said, for you are right. But even a dog deserves the crumb that falls from his master's table. He turned around and looked at her. He prophesied and he said, it. for now. Because she said what? She acknowledged she's what? Faith. She acknowledged she's what? She is a sinner. She acknowledged she was a what? What did a she say? Sinner. What did she tell Christ? A dog. She acknowledged she was a dog. You know what a dog is? What? A dog is one that vomits and goes back to his vomit and eats. That is what we are. You know what a dog is? A dog is so another nation that can't come into the kingdom. No, no, but just because no, no, Christ no, no. healed her don't mean she gets salvation. Here's the proof. Oh, yeah? Revelation 22. I'm going to show you. Oh, yeah? Here's the proof. I, I'm not going to let my words speak. I'm going to let God speak that hey, even bro, though he healed her, that does not mean she gets she salvation. Uh, what she Watch this. Let's did she what she for? Let God be true and every man a liar. Let's read. Amen. But it's the book of Revelation, read. chapter 22. <laughs> Verse 14, question, blessed are they that do his commandment. Blessed are they that do God's commandments. Listen, Hector, where you going? Listen, listen, brother. Read. That they may have right no, 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 to no. the tree of life. I just told you I'm Romanian. I'm I'll, not Hector. You just what's your name? You're just no, what's your name? Brother. I forgot your name. But see, if you couldn't what's your name? Answer. What was your name? Hector, what are you talking about? I just called you your name, brother. My name ain't Hector, brother. So you lied. What's your name? Alright, read. And may and enter in through the gates into the for city. Dogs, my man, Listen, you for without right. our dogs. For outside of what? For Listen. without our dogs. No for outside God. of what? Pay attention, brother. No Listen. God, there, and sorcerers. No and sorcerers. God. Outside the kingdom is dogs. Now go to Matthew 15, 24. That's not the word of Listen God. to this. We're going to teach you, thus saith the Lord. That's right. You can believe in white man Christianity no. all you want to, no, no. but we're going to teach you what the Bible, the Bible says. Church, and, from, Bible and from that point, it's on you to that's believe what you want to. But we are going to read, thus saith the Lord. Right. Matthew 15, 24. Spirit, it's the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 15, right. verse 24. Right. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the Bible. That's not us. Christ said he was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But what Christianity teaches you is that he came for everybody by taking scriptures like Galatians 3 and twisting them. Go back to Galatians 3. Come on over here. We can talk. Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to go back to Galatians 3, and we're going to destroy it. Because there's been far too many lies pushed on the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who are the Israelites according to the Bible. White man has been pushing lies on black people for centuries. Since you bought us off of those ships, you've been pushing white man theology, and you got white people out, or, or Hispanic people out here thinking, that they are you, because they speak Spanish. That is the language of their oppressors. That's historical fact. That ain't racism, that ain't hatred, it's fact. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.